So I'm just now getting around to digging this project out of the barn. Y'all that have been with me on the channel for a while may recognize it. Um, I just picked this up last November at the Hot Rod Hoarders swap meet. It is a simplex motorcycle. It, they had it labeled as a 1948. Um, I think it's later modeled than that. And um, there's, a, there's a few kind of uh, little ways you can tell. The earlier bikes, these two tubes were closer together. It did not have this spring right here for the uh, seat. They were kind of mounted on a post, mo more like a bicycle. So that's one indicator. Um, and the handlebars uh, were more like a bicycle also. Um, the later models had this plate right here looks like to me this one's been heated up and bent these actually had a bend upwards right here they weren't just a flat plate this whole front end's been taken apart looks like it's missing the bearings and it, well it's missing a whole lot of stuff uh so i think the direction i'm going to go with this bike is i'm going to just kind of build a resto mod if you will out of it just something to cruise around the fairgrounds with. Um, I'm gonna go to car shows and stuff. Um, obviously it's missing the seat, the engine, you know, it's missing the, the uh, all the drive train, missing the tires. So I'm just uh, gonna check it out here, start uh, kind of getting a feel for what I wanna do with it. So y'all follow along and uh, we'll get started on this thing. So the first thing I wanted to do on this bike is check out the wheels on it. The, all the spokes look good and straight. The bearings feel good. Uh, probably end up replacing those anyway. But uh, looks like it's very true. So that's a real good thing. Both front and back wheels. Got some light pitting as far as rust goes, but nothing substantial. Those will get tubes anyway, so... Um, those I believe I'll be able to use. Um, and uh, one of the other things I noticed while I had the bike upside down, this brake was completely frozen up right here. It goes through this tube right here. And I think that would be really cool to be able to use that original brake pedal. So I took a torch and just kind of heated that tube up a little bit right there. And uh, got it moving. Shot a little WD-40 in there to get it loosened up a little bit so i got that freed up um and when i turned the bike over the <laughs> the bolts fell out of the uh, uh handlebars right here so after checking out the wheels uh you know i checked the frame out and everything looks like it's in good real good solid shape there's no um major rust or anything no rot definitely in the in the frame there's some uh bent bars here those two right there and then this bar that runs underneath the gas tank straightened it up a little bit already but uh it's going to need a little more tweaking and so what i'm going to do is try to get those straightened out the best i can and try to get the frame kind of just close to stock specs and then who knows those may even end up getting cut out i don't know uh, in case I have to put a, a jack shaft through there or an idler pulley or who knows what. But um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and straighten them up best I can in case I do end up keeping them. And then I'll go from there. So getting the bike back up right now, uh, I can see those are obviously not the right bolts for that. Actually, those look like starter bolts off of a small block Chevy. They, they just fell right out when I turned the bike over the first time. And the only thing really holding this front suspension on is this big nut right here. And it's loose. It looks like the bike may have been taken apart one time and cleaned up, sandblasted maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if it's been sandblasted, but it's been cleaned up uh, some and primered at one time. Um, 
That's some uh, really fine threads on that. So there's that. And you can see right here when I took that off the first time how just how warped that thing is. Uh, I think, like I said earlier, it looked like it, by looking at original pictures, it looked like it's uh, it has some curvature upward, but somebody's heated it up and flattened it out for whatever reason. Maybe they wanted a lower um, lower stance on the uh, handlebars or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe he's going for that board track look. Anyway, uh, this is a uh, Springer front end. This is really all you got for suspension. And these are somewhat frozen up, so I'm gonna have to loosen those up, but they look like they're really in good shape. Uh, the springs, even they're, they're not broken or anything, so I think that'll uh, work out nice. The uh, front end just needs to be taken apart, cleaned up, and uh, I'll have to come up with some kind of bearings or something. I don't know if bearings are still available for this thing or, or not, but uh, I'm gonna have to come up with something there. As far as suspension goes, this is the only other suspension the bike has. That big spring on the on the uh, seat there, and this is kind of a I don't know if that's spring steel or what. It's just welded on up here at the front, looks like, and uh, bolt your seat to that, and uh, that's about all the suspension you got. Um, and uh, you know, there's all kinds of Springer seats on eBay for um, sportsters and different kinds of box that so i think i can adapt something there real easy um and then uh, after i rebuild this front end i think i can get all the suspension worked out on the front um after uh got the brake pedal loosened up right there you can see that works pretty good it travels through this tube and it looks like there's a rod that connects here and goes back here and right back here the bike has drum brakes originally and that's the only brake on the thing so um probably gonna have to upgrade the brakes some so uh the other thing is these had a huge groove right here which is essentially a pulley right here and they had a leather belt. So your drive for the rear wheel was a big leather belt and they had some kind of jack shaft or idler pulley right here of some sort that uh, um, connected it to the engine. I think the engine had a drive, cha drive chain to the idler sprocket or the uh, jack shaft and then you had a big belt right here on that. I'd like to keep that because that uh, uh, really gives the box some authenticity, I believe, uh, having that leather belt on the back. So I'm gonna try to use the original rims on this bike, maybe try to rebuild the uh, back brake, get it functional with the brake pedal there and the original style rod going to the uh, brake drum. Uh, depending on what kind of engine I put in there, um, I'm thinking about maybe a five horsepower Briggs or something like that. Um, I can also put a brake on the, I put a clutch brake on the uh, on the engine there. So that'll give me a, a lot of braking. And that'll just run up to a lever on the um, handlebars. So yeah, I think uh, a five horsepower Briggs might fit in there pretty good. So I got everything uh, stripped off the bike pretty much. The only thing left on it is the spring for the seat right there and the kickstand over there this brake pedal is not detachable it's all welded on so that'll have to stay on the bike got that freed up really nice hope i can use that that would be really cool so here's a look at the gx 160 motor on there and uh, that fits actually pretty nice i'll have to build an adapter plate if i use this or if i use the briggs either one I'll have to um, come up with some type of adapter plate. So, yeah, I think that would look nice in the bike, and it fits well. But I just think I want to keep this bike vintage, not necessarily restored to original specs, but 
at least keep it all American and uh, all vintage American. So I think I'm going to try to fit the Briggs on there and see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Just sitting that Briggs up there and it is uh, just looking right. So I think that's going to be the engine of choice for the bike. Definitely I'll have to reroute the exhaust. Probably what I'll do is come down here and put a uh, put a full length exhaust pipe on it. Not sure yet. Um, one thing about it, this is a tapered shaft motor. It come off of a pump or some piece of equipment or something. Picked it up at a swap meet for 30 bucks. So the price was definitely right on that. And it ran great when I brought it home and uh, got it uh, running. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be, uh, I think that's gonna be it. So now that I've decided on this Briggs and Stratton engine, just doing a little brainstorming on this thing. I don't have a gas tank for it, so I'm wondering if maybe I could do something with this Tecumseh right here to get started. May not uh, use this thing for the permanent gas tank on it, but uh, may end up replacing it. Uh, just a couple of Phillips head screws holding that on there and have that popped right off so probably won't be the permanent gas tank on it but i can at least maybe get started with this one and uh i don't know price was right on it so like i said i saved this thing from the boneyard it was uh it was in uh, a friend's truck i spotted it there he had it in the back of his truck. He was just fixing to haul it off for scrap. So I salvaged it just because I like this gas tank. I thought it was pretty cool. But like I said, it probably won't be the permanent one on there, but uh, well, it's not gonna fit in there like that. Hmm. You know, actually, that's pretty cool. That fits, that fits right up in there pretty, pretty good, actually. You know, I kind of dig that. It's kind of a vintage look and matches the vintage look of the uh, Briggs and Stratton. And, uh, you know, that might, that might end up staying in the bike. You know, this is... Uh, Kind of a hodgepodge of stuff, but uh, you know, it's a hybrid, I guess. Uh, but you know, that's the way they used to build hot rods. They just use whatever uh, kind of parts work the best for the application. And this thing's gonna be kind of a stripped down bare bones bike anyway. So yeah, I think that kind of works. So there's just one more thing i done uh, tonight, and that is went out to the barn and got my box of lights here. Just uh, kind of dig through them, see if there's anything that I think might look cool on this bike. So I'm just going to drag this over here. Here's the forks off the bike. This was the original mount for the light, so it actually had some tabs that come down off the lot and had a bolt that run through it that way so don't know if i'm going to have anything like that that is actually a these work great on mini bikes this is a off of an old emergency lot these are six volts i don't think that's really going to be big enough uh, that might could work i think i want a big old honking headlight on this thing though Oh, that's cool. I forgot I had that one. Uh, really like that yellow of that fog light. So, yeah, that might work. Oh, yeah, I'm digging that. So, there's a possibility. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here's another possibility. That's a King Bee I bought at uh, the local flea market. 
I'm going to give just a couple bucks for. So that could work somehow right there. That chrome would probably polish, polish up pretty good. But uh, not that it's important on this bike. So there's a couple options. Oh, there's another. There's another yellow fog light bulb. I could put that in that King B. So there's a possibility. And you know, I would like to have a tail light on this thing too. Oh, those are cool. Uh, those are glass too. Uh, so those are kind of a vintage looking. These come off a big truck, so. I could maybe put uh, one or maybe two of those on the back of that. So yeah, there's a few options for that. So we'll see where that goes. Just wanted to let y'all know the BLT is still here. I know I've not forgotten about it. It's just uh, been, uh, been neglected there a little bit because uh, I've been helping some friends with other projects. I've been helping some uh, folks uh, clean out an estate. I put the bedwood in a friend's truck and, you know, just working a lot. So not forgot about it. It's still there. I'll get back around to it one of these days. But, you know, occasionally I like to uh, do something different like this uh, simplex just to uh, kind of uh, change it up a little bit. So anyway, Y'all know, till next time. Y'all get out there and build something. That's right. Y'all get out there and build something.